determine if the sequence converges or diverges. If it converges, determine its limit. For this sequence with the general term an, we find the limit. Okay, so we just find the limit of this generic term when n goes to infinity of 2n squared plus 2n plus 10 over 3n cubed minus n squared minus 5. And this limit is same as the following limit, just the leading term 2n squared, leading term 3n cubed. And we can cancel n squared and two copies. Then we have 2 over 3n. And when n goes to infinity, this becomes infinity, a number over very, very big, that's 0. So this sequence converges to 0. So the sequence converges to 0. In the same way, let's find the limit, limit of, uh, let me just write a n, when n goes to infinity. And as we see, we just write down the leading terms. So it will be 2 n 4 over 24 n 4. n 4 n 4 cancel. 2 over 24. That's just 1 over 12. So the limit of this generic term when n goes to infinity is 1 over 12. That means the sequence converges to this number. The sequence. converges to 1 over 12. That's the limit. Similarly, we find the limit. Uh, let's look at this leading terms. So, 3n cubed over 500n squared. So, this limit of a n will be limit of just the leading terms. 3n cubed over 500n squared. That's same as uh, n cube n square two copies cancel it's still one copy left so 3 n over 500 and when n goes to infinity three times infinity this will be very 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 big divided by a finite number is still big the limit is infinity that means the sequence diverges the n term when n goes to infinity the terms are getting bigger and bigger in this case okay here let's find this limit limit of 5 raised to n when n goes to infinity that is 5 raised to infinity multiply 5 5 5 infinitely many times that's very very big infinity so the sequence diverges Uh, let's find the limit here. Limit n goes to infinity of 5 times 2 thirds raised to n. Okay, This 5 has nothing to do with this limit, so we can pull 5 outside. Now we take the limit of 2 over 3 quantity raised to n. So 2 over 3 is less than 1. And when n goes to infinity, and this is less than 1, the whole the limit goes to 0. So, it is, this would be 0. So, 5 times 0 is 0. What happens is limit of anything r raised to n when n goes to infinity is 0 if r is less than 1. If this r is less than 1, in fact, absolute value of r is less than 1, then this will be 0. So, the sequence converges to 0. converges to 0. Next part f, let's find the limit, limit of 3 over 2 raised to n when n goes to infinity. 3 halves, 3 over 2 is bigger than 1. So when n goes to infinity, this grows bigger and bigger, so it becomes infinity. So the sequence diverges. Ok, 
okay and next question here let's find this limit limit n goes to infinity of 3 raised to negative n which is same as uh, let's get rid of this negative which is 1 over 3 to the n negative n when we put this on the bottom the negative is gone now when n goes to infinity 3 raised to infinity this will be very very big 3 3 3 3 multiply infinitely many times this will be very big 1 over infinity is 0 so this sequence converts it to 0 so the sequence converges to 0.